This is Digital by Computing. We're looking at the steps on how to connect to your Mac files from a Windows computer. So what you can see here is let's just pretend this is just a full Windows screen. All right, you're not seeing anything else. You're on a Windows computer and, you, and you've got a Mac somewhere on your, on your network. It could be at home, it could be at work. You've got a Mac and a Windows computer or multiple computers and you wanna be able to share files between the two. So you've got your Windows computer and you wanna access your Mac files. How do you do that? Well, first thing we want to do is on my Mac, this is my Mac computer, I wanna do a few things, okay? I want to enable file sharing on my Mac and I wanna know what my Mac's um, host name is or what the name of my Mac is. With that information, uh, once that's enabled, you can then go to any Windows computer on your network and potentially share the files from your Mac to the Windows computer. So we wanna open up system preferences, okay? I've got it in my dock here, or you can go into Apple system preferences. So we're just gonna open it on the dock. You're gonna get presented with this. Now for this to work seamlessly, you want to be able to have a user account configured on your Mac as well, all right? So make sure you have a user account, preferably with a password. It just makes it a little bit easier if you have a username and a password when you log into a Mac, okay? You can get away or you can get around that in other ways, but that's the easiest way to get this set up. Okay, so we're going to now go into sharing, and you've got a file sharing tab here. You want to make sure that that is ticked, and then you'll see down here you've got some shared folders. Okay, now in here what you want to do is you can create, you can go plus and add some folders in here of files and folders that you want to be able to be accessible from another computer. So this is essentially all the folders that can be shared on your Mac to another computer. It could be shared to another Mac or it could be shared to a Windows computer. So I've selected desktop for example, or in my case, I know my user, um, my username is my user. Okay, that is, that is the username that I'm gonna be using, my user. So that is a public folder. So if I open up my finder, okay, under my Macintosh hard drive, I've got users, and then I've got my user. And in there, I've got a folder called test, All right? So there's a folder called test folder, and I've just copied a file in there, an exe file. This file obviously does not work on a Mac. I need to copy it to a Windows computer, okay? Now I know that my user's public folder is pointing to this, right, to this. So I wanna make sure that the users are, are set up correctly here, all right? Now by default, let's just, uh, for the sake of this, let's just remove this. Actually, what we'll do, let's start from scratch. Let's just create a whole brand new one. Let, let's share this test folder. We'll go from the top. Gonna select plus, and we're gonna select, we're gonna to navigate to that location, users, my user, test folder, and add. So that has now been added as a shared folder. Who do I want to have access to it? Well, I want my user to have access to it, okay? And I wanna, whoever logs in with my user, I want to be able to have read and write access, okay? So remember that my user is my, um, is the account that I used to log in, my username, right? and I've got a password set for it as well. And I wanna be able to have read and write access. So what that means is I not only wanna be able to read the files from this test folder, but I wanna be able to write to it as well and copy things back and forth between the Mac and the Windows computer. Okay, so that is the first step. Second step is you need to know what your computer's name is. So you'll see that the computer name is listed in this same sharing location here on your Mac. It's called Media Server. But you've also got listed here is the IP address, okay? Don't worry about the SMB for now. This is your computer's IP address, okay? At times you may find that you may have trouble connecting to it, connecting to your Mac from this, so you can connect to it from the IP address, okay? Let's just leave this open for now. Then we're gonna close out of here. Now, that's set up on your Mac. That should be now ready to go. Make sure that this is enabled. Make sure that this is green. We now open up my Windows computer. So I'm on Windows here, all right, normal Windows setup. I wanna to connect to the Mac. 
Sometimes you may have luck by going into network and having it listed in here. Doesn't always work. Okay, there are a few things you may have to change to get that to get that sorted. The easiest thing to do is on here in your address bar. Okay, you can do it straight from here if you want as well. Is to type in backslash backslash. Okay, and then your computer's name, which is media server. All right, so backslash backslash media server. So this is going to navigate to media server, which is my Mac. Now you have to ensure that both these computers, the Windows and the Mac are both on the same network. And press enter. And that has now worked for me. Now that has worked straight away for me because I've already set up the, the password. Okay. You may more than likely be then prompted for a username and password. If you're prompted, you put in the username, my user, and then the password, which is the password that you use to log into your Mac. All right. So that's the username and password that you're going to use. Now, if the name doesn't work, you can always try the IP address backslash backslash. This is the IP address here. 172.16.1.1 and enter. You'll see that now I've got access to all this. So essentially this corresponds to this. So we already know that we're sharing test folder, which is here. And there's the file that we needed. So I can then go and copy that file onto my desktop or copy it wherever on my Windows computer. But this is essentially the path for my Mac computer. And I can then copy things back and forth. So what I can do, what's really brilliant is I can be on my computer, for example, and let's just say, I'll just create a, a test file for now folder, we'll call it test. And in here, let's just create a text file. Okay. I can then go right click copy. Yeah. Go to that path that we had before. Let's go via the IP address. Go in a test folder. Let's do this. This will be pretty cool. So if we open up in here, this is on the Mac. Now this is on windows. It's on the Mac users, my user, test folder. Okay, we know that that is now the same as this. So on the Windows side, I now paste. There we go, it's now shown up, test on here. It is locked, it just says that it's locked because I'm not I'm not logged in as, uh, as uh, the test user at the moment, as my user, okay? But that'll be fine for you. And that's it, so now that is now copied and you can copy things between the two without without problems, okay? I've also got another video on how to do the reverse and how to connect to a Windows share or a Windows folder from your Mac, but we're not going to go over this on this video. You can check out that other video. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a whole bunch of more videos. Thanks for watching.